Hey guys, the doubt here. There was a comment request from Schneeblog, if I pronounced that wrong, my apologies. And he asked, can you make a group build too? Well, yes sir, I can. The only problem is that it depends on your team comp and your playstyle. Bard can fit into most team comps, but you need to decide what you're wanting to do, and then make decisions based off of that, and what other characters are on your team. In team play, you have two decisions to make for yourself. Do you want to play Battle Bard and do tons of damage, or do you want to play Sport Bard and take a backseat while making your teammates better? Typically, when I play with my friends, we either do Bard, Rogue, Wizard, or Bard, Barbarian, Wizard as our team comps. And since both of those already have a lot of damage, I choose to go into more of a supporting role. So, let's talk about that first. So the quote unquote problem with Bard is that you technically want plus all attribute gear, which isn't really in the game anymore or at least you can't stack it. Every stat is good for a bard, but if you spread them out too much, you're just kind of okay at everything. That's why I'm saying you either should play battle bard or support bard. Strength gives damage, vigor gives health, agility moves speed, dexterity affects your playing speed, will increases how long your buffs last on yourself, knowledge increases your memory capacity, and resourcefulness actually increases this one stat here called persuasiveness, and this determines how long your buffs last on your teammates. Typically, I, I like to stack Knowledge and Dexterity to get a lot of songs and play them quickly. If I can get some Agility, Strength, or Physical Damage bonuses along the way, then that's great too. This is my gear right now. It's not really the best. I say that as I show my Legendary Arming Sword with horrible stats, but the rest of the gear is honestly really easy to get, like 50 gold in the shop or you'll just find it on your first run. And I actually take that back looking at it again. This one piece is pretty expensive. Other than that, the rest of the gear is kind of mid. Perks and songs is really what makes your build team dependent. As far as skills go, you typically just want to take both music memory slots. But when you're in low gear or just low knowledge, you could also take dissonance and that can be good. The problem with it is that Song of Silence does the same exact thing and you can take four more songs along with it. For the perks that I'm currently running, we have Charismatic Performance, always take this, it's required regardless of what you're playing, Superior Dexterity to change between weapons and instruments quicker, Storyteller so I can have more songs and buff my wizard, and Dancing Feet to move faster while playing songs. This makes it easier to hit things like Lament of Languor and Shriek of Weakness, and when you hit those my barbarian and my rogue or whatever teammates that you have that are melee are able to keep on people more and destroy them wanderer's luck can be good if you're trying to keep out of fights and just get gear but i wouldn't necessarily recommend it because sometimes you're just forced to fight and you could just bring a luck pot anyway and war song right here can also be good um, this will buff your rogues, your rangers, your fighters, and yourself. Basically, anyone who can attack quickly will get a lot of value from this. And lastly, we have our songs. These could also be team dependent. Since I'm not running with a cleric, I do bring tranquility. This just helps our teammates heal up like when we first get into hell or between fights or I sometimes use it along with the campfire so people just heal extra quickly. And Corral of Clarity, this is just for my wizard. If you're not running with a wizard and you're not running with a cleric, this is a completely wasted song. Don't bring it. For my self buffs, I have Rousing Rhythms. This actually gives everyone plus two all. And Beats of Alacrity, this gives me more move speed. Again, so I can hit Lament of Languor and Shriek of Weakness. I also bring Harmonic Shield. This gives everyone on the team extra armor and extra magic resist. I don't usually bring it in solo because I think 15 armor and magic resist doesn't really do the most for you. But when it's spread out among three people, that actually does a decent amount. I also have Accelerando. This keeps everyone faster and it lets us keep on to enemy teams if they're trying to run away. 
And then for my three combat songs, I have Lament of Langlor. Like I said earlier, this reduces the move speed of enemies. Shriek of Weakness. This lowers their physical power and armor rating. And it makes the bar or the barbarian hit like a truck or the rogue. And Piercing Shrill. This is just so I can do some damage like through walls. I've actually been in a situation where I think we were doing rogue wizard bard and the rogue died. I just sat at a door and I spammed this spell over and over and over again. And the other team didn't push up and it gave enough time to res and get fully healed before we went back into the fight. Some other notable mentions, you could bring Dinda Darkness. The problem is that this doesn't scale off of physical power, it scales off of magical damage, and this scales off of physical damage. Allegra could also be good because it increases action speed and casting speed. I just prefer to bring Accelerando instead, and I like to have these spells too, but this is very good. Unchained Harmony I bring sometimes, it just lets you open all of the chests that are locked. And Song of Silence will completely shut down a cleric and a wizard and a warlock. Um, other than that, none of these are the most great for support bard. You could bring more self buffs for yourself like Aria of Alacrity and Ballad of Courage. But we're in a supporting role. We don't really need to be doing the most ourselves. We just need to be keeping our team the most effective that they can be at all times. When it comes to gearing in white lobbies or doing low geared HR for support bard, these are the items that I just bought in my shop. I would also grab wanderer attire for dexterity if they were there, but my current shop only had adventurer tunics. With that, I decided to not wear a chest because 5 move speed is a little bit more important to me personally than some armor and 4 health. If you needed one more knowledge, then grabbing rawhide gloves instead of leather gloves could work also. I don't think it's the most needed though. And the pants could either be loose trousers or cloth pants. And the boots, my personal preference, are lightfoots or rugged. The weapon is fully preference. Falchion, arming sword, and rapier are all great. In my current shop, I could only buy a falchion or arming sword, so I went with the falchion because I prefer a little bit more. It hits harder and makes people panic. So yeah, here's the gear that I bought real quick. The crossbow and survival bow are also interchangeable. Um, in a lot of ways, I just prefer the crossbow and trios because it hits harder and can be followed up with some more damage. Their survival bow is a little bit better for kiting. Your perks and skills for support bard, I would honestly keep exactly the same in low gear. So charismatic performance, superior dexterity, Storyteller and Dancing Feet. And then with music, this is where it would change some because you will have less knowledge. Rousing Rhythms, Beats of Alacrity, and Harmonic Shield. And then over on my other side, I have Lament of Languor, Shriek of Weakness, and Accelerando. Something that I didn't explain that I feel like I should right now is that my cost limit is 5 over, and that's perfect. Because with Accelerando, we get two all, so that's two knowledge. And then with Storyteller, we also get three knowledge. So as long as Rousing Rhythms is active, we will have both of these spells. Okay, and so when it comes to Battle Bard, what you're really going to be looking for are Strength, Vigor, Move Speed, and Physical Damage bonuses. Your weapon is really preference. I like the Rapier, and I also like the Falchion. The Arming Sword's not my favorite. But if I had to pick, I'd probably go with the Rapier. It attacks quick, and if you get a lot of strength and you get a lot of Fizz Damage bonus, it does a lot of damage, and you can get it off very quickly. Um, I almost always bring a Buckler. You could also bring a Hand Crossbow. I just like having the Buckler for clearing mobs. Um, the rest, like I said, Strength, Vigor, Physical Power, Move Speed. Um, so here is what I put on just for a little reference. I would also recommend to not bring the padded tunic. I know it gives strength, 
but minus 12 move speed actually feels like a lot and most of the time I end up doing better with an adventurer tunic or something else that doesn't slow me down as much like the wanderer's cloak I forget what it's called wanderer attire um yeah and this is the rest of it This actually brings us to 305 move speed, so with our buffs, we'd actually be a bit higher and we could keep on people pretty easily. As far as perks and skills go, Battle Bard is slightly less team dependent since you're trying to get buffs for yourself. I usually go with Charismatic Performance. Again, I always take it regardless of the build. War Song, because it increases our damage when we use Shriek of Weakness or Lament of Languor or any of our combat buffs. Storyteller, I just do it specifically for the plus three knowledge it doesn't matter if there isn't a wizard or cleric on my team just having the plus three knowledge lets me bring more spells especially since i'm not stacking knowledge in this build and then i have rapier mastery because i like the rapier if i was using any other weapon i would swap that for superior dexterity this just lets us go from shriek of weakness to anything else quicker as far as skills it's the same thing as before you want to take double music memory or if you only wanted to bring five songs, you could bring Dissonance too. Same exact thing as Support Bard. As far as Battle Bard songs go, if you watch me play my solos, all of these look very similar to that because it's basically the same exact thing. We have Rousing Rhythms, which gives plus two all. Beats of Alacrity to give ourselves move speed. Ballad of Courage for physical, fo physical power bonuses. And Aria of Alacrity, so we get increased action speed. This is really great specifically with the Rapier. Um, Shriek of Weakness to lower physical power and armor rating of enemies. This is also really great with Warsong that we took. Accelerando to let us get more move speed and stick on to people. At total, this gives us 21 move speed. With this, we get 26. And then about two more with Rousing Rhythms. And lastly, we have Lament of Languor. Um, I'm actually over capped on knowledge right now by one, but I would leave it on here in case I got another knowledge piece. This reduces the move speed of enemies by 20. If you didn't have enough knowledge for both of these, if you could bring Accelerando first, I would say to do it because this also affects your teammates. If not, then I would bring Lament of Languor and just like leave this off and try to bring something else. But with Storyteller, you should almost always be able to bring all of these, if not just be off by one. Some honorable mentions for Battle Bard in case you get extra knowledge without trying to. Um, Allegro is really great, especially with the Rapier because it just gives more stacking action speed on top of Aria of Alacrity. You could always go with Den of Darkness or Piercing Shrill. The problem with bringing these in Battle Bard is that you're not stacking Dexterity, so they cast very slowly. And at that point, it's almost always better to use a crossbow, your survival bow, or just run in with your rapier. Song of Silence, it's really cheap and it shuts down wizards, clerics, and warlocks. And Harmonic Shield, because you get armor, you get magic resist, and you give it to your team because we're talking about trios right now. I think that's pretty much everything I have for playing Bard and Trios. Both of these builds have given me success, but I noticed that since the update that Splint Strength and Vigor that I've been doing a bit better with the support bar build in a team setting. If anyone here has any more questions or would like to add to this discussion, feel free to write them out in the comment section. And if you could just do one thing for me, just like this video or subscribe to the channel. It really does help a whole lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and peace.